Reggae Just Extra with Ross Dennis. Sister Carol is an electrifying Grammy-nominated, award-winning veteran in the sphere of reggae music. She is also known as the Black Cinderella and Mother Cultural for a heartfelt roots lyrical vibrations. After receiving her Bachelor of Science degree in education from City College in New York in 1983, she set out on her musical career and has produced 19 albums over the past 40 years. My name is Ras Dennis, and you are welcome to yet another video by Reggae Gist Extra. You're now watching Reggae Gist Extra with Ras Dennis. self-love, self-respect, self-esteem, yeah, a, a, a personal relationship with the Almighty, whoever you pray to, whatever denomination, believing in yourself, looking at everyone as yourself, don't look down on people, and don't think anyone is better than you, they're just as equal as you are, you know, because we're all souls, that's on this journey called life, doing what we're supposed to do, you know, so... In this episode of Reggae Gist Extra, we'll take a closer look at Sister Carol's career, her rise to stardom in the reggae industry. She is the first female dancehall artist to be nominated for a Grammy, says the announcement of her lyrically potent album as one of the Recording Academy's picks for the 1996 Best Reggae Album came as a shock to her at the time. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button, like, and hit the notification bell to be the first to watch our next video. Sister Carol was born Carol Teresa East on January 15, 1959, Kingston, Jamaica. She is a Jamaican-born American reggae recording artist. She has used many other stage names, including Black Cinderella, also the name of her record label, and Mother Culture. She is a native of Denham Town District of West Kingston. She was 14 when her family emigrated to Brooklyn, New York. Her father, Howard East, was a senior engineer with Radio Jamaica and contributed to recording sessions at Studio One. She became involved in the Jamaican music scene herself. She earned a degree in education from the City College of New York in 1981, the same year she gave birth to her first child. Around that time, she met Brigadier Jerry, a Jamaican DJ, who encouraged her to try DJ chatting in Jamaican dancehall style rather than singing. Brigadier Jerry is a brother to Sister Nancy, another female dancehall veteran. After winning competitions in New York and Jamaica, she toured with the Meditations. Her first album, Liberation for Africa, was released in 1983 as a limited edition on the Jamaican SG label. The 1984 album Black Cinderella established her. She formed her own record label, also called Black Cinderella. Ja Disciple followed in 1989. She has toured the globe from her birthplace in Jamaica to Japan from Brazil to the motherland, Senegal, Gambia, Ivory Coast, to Colombia, Thailand, New Caledonia, and France. She has toured extensively throughout the United States and Canada. Sister Carol has lectured at two universities in California and a music festival in Brazil. Sister Carol has been interviewed by many media outlets globally and has been an announcer on channel for TV show Night Music with Jules Holland and David Sanborn. Alongside Sister Carol's musical career, she has appeared in several movies directed by the late Jonathan Dem, Something Wild 1987. Hey! You didn't pay for your food. Where you think you're going? Huh? Come on, Mr. I haven't got all day. What? 
Well, you didn't pay for your food. Sure, I paid. I do uh, Donnie, I, I put uh, five dollars on the table. What do you think? I'm stupid. Look, there was a mistake. I mean, it was a three fifteen bill, right? I, I left five dollars on the table. That's a healthy tip. Do you expect to eat and not pay? Fine. All right. It doesn't. It's not that big a deal. She's equally featured in Married to the Mob 1988, Rachel's Getting Married 2009, and Ricky and the Flash in 2015. She has shared the silver screen with Hollywood darlings such as Melanie Griffiths, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Hathaway, and Meryl Streep, Matthew Modine, Dean Stockwell, Ray Liotta, and Jeff Daniels. Several of her songs have been featured in movies such as The Mighty Quinn, Principal, Failure to Launch, Original Drum, Something Wild, Wild Thing, Rachel's Getting Married, Dread Natty Congo, and Ricky and the Flash, Milk and Honey. One of her best concerts was in the Japan Splash in 1986. She recently opened for Burning Spear in Central Park, New York. Apart from the fabulous career, she has raised four children, one of them Nakiba Amania, a DJ. She has over 12 grandchildren. She continues to march to her own beat blazing trails celebrating 41 years in the music industry. Her virtuous vibes remain stronger than ever. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a like, post a positive comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you again very soon for another video. Much effort is made to ensure all materials and reggae gist extras videos fall within the guidelines of fair use. No copyright infringement is intended. If you are or represent the copyright owner of any materials accidentally used in this video and have an issue with its use, please contact me and I will respond as soon as possible. Many thanks for watching Reggae Gist Extra with Ras Dennis. Oh.